guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you a Trader Joe's haul and I love Trader Joe's. Oh my God, it is literally one of my favorite grocery store chains. I just love all their like little funky and like funny like just the different cookies and just like different treats and all the different, just everything, everything Trader Joe's I freaking love. So any chance that I get to go, I love to go. So it's pretty late. We went like super late just because the Trader Joe's here in Nashville, it's just, there's only one. The city is huge and it's Packed. like it is always blowed in there it's so many people the parking lot is like this little like it's just too much to go on so it's better to just go at night when there's not as many people there and you can have a better and more pleasant shopping experience moving on let's get into some of this stuff that I got from Trader Joe's so these chips here I got these were a recommendation from the glam twins these are the ghost pepper potato chips and they said that they were spicy had lots of black pepper on them they were kettle cooked i think no um yeah they were kettle cooked and they were like the ruffle rigid kind of um like style so i love a nice crunchy spicy chip so i had to grab a bag of these and i'm so excited to see if they are all the hype that they built them up to be which i'm pretty sure they'll be amazing i also got another bag of chips i got three bags of chips actually um and all of them were glam twins recommendations these are the hawaiian style hickory barbecue flavor potato chips it says kettle cooked slowly in small batches using only fresh unpeeled potatoes and these are just the trader joe's brand these were actually very affordable it was only 1.99 for this really big bag um so i'm really excited to try these i love i mean i freaking love a good barbecue chip and so a nice kettle cooked crunchy flavorful barbecue chip i am all here for it so i grabbed these also me and they were eating these in the car these are the trader joe's salt and vinegar potato chips and these are just kind of the same style, the Hawaiian style, the same kind of thing as the barbecue ones. What's crazy is if you like salt and vinegar chips, these are like times 100. They are so freaking flavorful. Like these, it, it's too much. It was too much for me. Like I literally had maybe like a handful of chips and I was eating them like really slow these are strong like they're too strong for me like and i love salt and vinegar chips but these are just too strong they're good so if you like a big salt and vinegar taste then you would love these but for me i i'm gonna pass like i'm gonna eat them but i'm not gonna buy them again because they're just too strong all right i got a bag of arugula i love to have arugula just kind of in a salad mixed with some romaine or mixed with some spinach um sometimes i'll put like a bit of arugula down and i'll do like a slice of chicken or I'll do a thing, not a thing, but I'll do a piece of salmon or some other type of fish with some veggies, rice. It's just a really good green to get in. Um, I like kind of the pepperiness or the spiciness um, of arugula. I love the texture. I love just how it looks on the plate. I just love everything about arugula. And at Trader Joe's, it is $1.99. So I grabbed a very big bag of this and I'm so excited to eat it again. I haven't had arugula in like forever. We grabbed a bunch of bananas because, bananas, duh. I grabbed two boxes of my favorite cookies. I grabbed two boxes of the Speckaloos. These are like gingerbread, cinnamon. It says they're crisp caramelized cinnamon spice Belgium cookies and i they're, they're vegan you guys these are vegan they're so freaking good um i just i see it says may contain traces of milk and soy but then this says that they're vegan so you take that how you want the intentional ingredients are vegan so i'm gonna go with that they're vegan i eat these so quick and it's a lot for me just to grab two sometimes i want to grab three but I just stop it at two. These are like $1.99 and these are like the best cookies ever. I love them. Oh my gosh, they're so good in tea. They're good in coffee. They're good by themselves with just some milk. If you guys have never had these, please, 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 please try them. And then like if you slice a banana and then like lay it on top of it. We picked up a coffee. This is the Trader Joe's French Vanilla Coffee. This is a medium 
dark roast um, ground coffee and it's 100% Arabica beans. So we just love coffee and we are low on coffee right now. We have like half a bag left. So we said, let's try a new and um, fun flavor and let's try some brand we've never tried. So we tried the Trader Joe's brand and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be delicious. I really love the bag. Like, I love this. And you, it feels like you get like a ton of coffee in there. So I'm pretty excited. So I grabbed two Cliff Bars. They had these on sale for 99 cents. So I had to grab them. I got the Peanut Toffee Buzz. This one contains caffeine. And then I also got the Cool Mint Chocolate. And this one also contains caffeine. I just love these because when I'm at work, sometimes I'm hungry and I'm like, I don't need to eat, eat anything. And I'll actually eat half of this and then save the rest for later because eating a whole Cliff Bar for me is just a lot. So I just will have half and that's more than enough for me. Instead of maybe making another cup of coffee or tea or something, I'll just snack on this. And this really, like I love Cliff Bars. They actually give me energy. They're actually really tasty to me. So I got two of these and once again, I. It's the peanut toffee buzz and the cool mint chocolate. And then I got four of my absolute favorite candies at um, Trader Joe's. I got four of the Trader Joe's dark chocolate sunflower seed butter cups. These are a vegan and healthier version of Reese's peanut butter cups and I love these. Oh my gosh, I did a first impressions taste test with these and they are so freaking good. I love to put them in the fridge. They're so good. Um, and they're just better for you than Reese's. I mean, it still has like sugar in there, cocoa, sea salt, butter, sunflower seeds, dark chocolate. But I mean, other than that, it's, it's a whole lot better than a Reese's cup. Well, ingredient wise, it's a lot better than a Reese's cup. And then they're only like 99 cents and then they're just healthier for you and they're vegan. So you can't really beat it. If you're gonna treat yourself, you might as well treat yourself right. And these are amazing. So I grabbed four of them. I grabbed a, another bottle of coconut aminos. The last time we went to Trader Joe's, I bought three of them. And I was like, every time I go into Trader Joe's after this, I'm just going to pick up a bottle and I'll always have three. So I have half a bottle now and I have two bottles unopened. And now now I have a third bottle so if you do not use coconut aminos in your cooking what are you doing you need to get you a couple of bottles of this because it has pretty much replaced soy sauce for me I still use soy sauce here and there but for the most part anything that I'm pretty much making I'm gonna throw some coconut aminos on it like in my avocado toast coconut aminos in my salads coconut aminos in my stir fries coconut aminos in my chicken broccoli salmon bro whatever coconut aminos like this stuff goes in absolutely everything. This bottle is like $2.99, which I think is an amazing price because they have some bottles that are like half the size and they're like four bucks. So I think this is a steal. It's so good, it's organic, and it's just all around like delicious. I love this stuff. All right, I'm moving on to some freezables. I got a pack of organic cut and peeled carrots. These are just for me to snack on um, so that I can start taking healthier snacks to work so I just grabbed a bag of these and the organic ones for some strange reason were actually more affordable than the conventional ones so I grabbed the organic ones. I grabbed a bag of the Kung Pao chicken. This is one of our favorites. Um, it's just like vegetables and sauce and um, chicken. It's like, you know, like your Chinese kind of takeout, but it's so freaking good with some rice. Oh my gosh. And I add extra coconut aminos in this. Um, but this is just really delicious. It's a really quick meal that we like to just throw on and just go have lunch for the next day, have our dinner and just kind of move on. So this is just perfect for like, the middle of the week, you're not cooking anything heavy and just grab it, throw it in a pan and go. We're getting down to the last couple of products. I grabbed two bags of broccoli florets. Trader Joe's has the best bro frozen broccoli bags that I've ever seen, ever. Aldi, Kroger, Publix, it doesn't matter. Trader Joe's frozen broccoli bags are like the standard. All of these are broccoli heads. Like you might have maybe two of the little bottom parts, but all of these are broccoli heads. They're so good. I put very little salt and pepper on these. Like it just takes a little bit to season them. I don't know what it is, but they're flavorful. They're delicious. They're affordable. The bag is huge. I just, I, 
I love it, I love it, I love these. And then finally, I got two bags of these mixed vegetables. These are the Trader Joe's, or Trader Means, actually. Trader Means Asian vegetables with Beijing style soy sauce. So I just got two bags of these. Um, I love these. These, honestly, you can just cook up some rice, cook up a big thing of rice, and you can have vegetables on the side with your meats or whatever, or you can just have this and have a veggie stir fry. You can do tofu. I mean, these are just perfect to cook up super quick and have a really quick meal. So I grabbed two bags of these, and these were also super, super affordable. All right, you guys, so that is everything that I got from Trader Joe's. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little haul. Um, of course, I wanted to get more, but I just kept, kept it really simple um, for today, and i probably go out and get like some chicken and salmon and some tofu for the rest of the week, and then I'll have dinner to cook. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know down below what, some are, what are some of your favorite things to get from Trader Joe's. Let me know what you like. Let me know some of the things that you hate getting from Trader Joe's. Um, so just let me know down below. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video please hit that thumbs up button follow me on snapchat twitter and instagram make sure you guys are subscribed and i will see you guys in my next video bye